Hey guys, so I'm back again with another wig review for you guys. Yes, I am so excited too. Um, this wig is a uh, model model and it's Brooke. And she is baby hair lace front wig. And she is Futura. And she is safe up to 350 degrees. And I have her in the color P40. So I watched Billy's Jam poet if you guys don't know her she is good she does really good reviews um i saw her have this wig before and i just love the way it looks it's just it was just so flowy and it just complimented her face really well and it was long which i love of course so i had to try it out and it is exactly how i imagined it for the most part i'm gonna tell you the specs for a second it has two combs in the front one in the back like always adjustable straps like always bendable tabs and yeah and of course baby hair there's a lot of baby hair with this wig like you probably can't see it I'm sure you can but there's baby hair sticking up where I parted my hair they're everywhere they're crazy um, but I like the fact that there's baby hairs because they can make it look a little more real so that doesn't bother me um, sad part about this wig there's not that much parting space there's maybe like an inch inch and a half I don't know if you can see you probably can't but there's not that much parting space at all um but I think this wig will look really nice if you were to put some bangs in it um Philly Jam probably did that and it looked really good but I'm not gonna do bangs uh, I'm not fond with bangs I like it the way it is like side swept or side parted um this wig does kind of shed uh, as I'm sitting here pulling on it. There's a few strands that come out, um, so that might bother you. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I just feel like a lot of wigs do that anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Um, but this hair is really thick. Uh, she seemed like she had a lot of layers, but I, I, don't, I don't see it. Um, it's not that much layer with this one, at least. Uh, this is at least, I want to say, 22 to 24 inches. I'm going to give you the judge. I'm going to sit back and show you how, yeah. This is how long she is. She's very, very long, all the way down to my chest. I like the cap construction of this one way, way more than um, the one I did on Sunny. Uh, Sunny, the cap was a little tight, and it's not really meant for people with bigger heads. Um, but I made it work, it fits. But um, this one, this cap is different. It fits snug, but it fits just perfect. Um, I actually cut out the adjustable straps like I always do with my wigs. I just feel like they're useless to me. Um, but you can keep them if that's what you like. Um, so I cut them out and I just put it on and it fits perfectly. It's like, I don't know, it's like a tight, it's not tight, but it's tight enough to a point where it doesn't move. I don't even have, um, bobby pins on the sides it's just the bendable tabs I just kind of push them and bent them and so yeah she sits down really nicely and let me show you this is the sides it comes up a little 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 bit but like nothing out of control I, I don't mind it because I'm not gonna be like pulling my hair back that much or going in the wind that much today so I'm not gonna pin it down um, because I just think it's gonna sit in place really nicely anyway um, because of how snugly and fit it is uh, but if you want to put bobby pins that's fine if you want to use glue or tape that's fine I really like her she feels really good um, I feel a little hot wearing her like like sweaty um, I don't know if that's just the fact that she's long it might be or the way the cap is. Certain caps ventilate differently. Some can actually make you sweat. I'm not sure if it's the cap because the cap is slightly different or it's just the fact that she's long. I think it has to do with the fact that she's long, um, but that's okay. Uh, once again, she's in 430 and uh, the streaks are nicely distributed. If you can see, it's not like a patch here, a patch there, you know, like how some legs are. Um, I think it's distributed evenly for the most part, well, not too much on this side, but a lot of them are on this side. 
but it all depends on how you part it. It says on here, ultimate natural look, natural touch and look, silky soft and tangle free. Uh, I agree on the natural look and t natural touch and look. Silky soft, I agree on, but tangle free, I don't really agree on. I mean, all wigs tangle, let's just admit it. So I don't even know why they put that. They all tangle. It did tangle a little bit, especially um, when I was like messing around with it, cutting the lace off. Of course, it tangles and I had to brush it out. Um, and but if you do mess with it, yeah, see, it it does tangle. So I don't know why they put that, but all wigs do that. It says on the bigger package, um, baby hair makes it look more natural, specially designed. Weft offers more stable and comfortable fit, which it does, I agree on that. Unique cap technique enables updo styles. I have no clue about that, um, but I might try it in the future. Uh, a lot of wigs, I always, it makes me sad that I can't really do updo styles that much because you know, like the back will come up and whatnot, but just, like lifting it up like this, I think it could do updo style because the back isn't uh, lifting at all. So maybe it can, you just probably have to be careful with the front lifting. Uh, but just from doing that and testing to see how it is up, you probably can do updo. Yeah. It's definitely not coming up at all, which I do like because a lot of wigs will lift up at the back comb when you do updo. But there, um, by the way, there are no baby hairs in the back. I don't think, no, there's no baby hairs in the back. Just in the front. I love this wig, I really do. Um, the only thing is that it kind of sheds a lot, uh, but I can get past that. I just feel like long hair complements my face more. Um, and I think this wig looks really good with like hair accessories. Like a headband like I will do right now. I think it just complements hair accessories more when it's longer hair. So, one out of five stars, I give this wig four stars. I'm not giving it five, only for the fact that it sheds kind of a lot, um, just pulling on it, and yeah. I don't know about that, I, have, I don't know about that, I don't like that that much. Um, it's coming out a little too much for me now, now that I'm messing with it more. Uh, so I'm gonna give it four out of five only for that reason. But everything else I completely love about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave them down below. Do not hesitate to ask. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and stay tuned to the next video. Bye. Since it says you can do an updo, let's see about that. I'm gonna put bobby pins in just for like extra security. I did a very 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 messy side pony and it looks really good like in the front like nothing really shifted that much okay that that fixed that it's kind of flicking up that's my fault um okay um but I, I did it I did an updo. It's very, very messy, obviously. But I'm just proving to you that you can do an updo. And look, the back is fine. The back is fine. It didn't come up at all. Um, so yeah, this can 
be up to. So, good job, model, model. I really like this for this reason. So, I'm definitely going to be doing some updos or just put in ponytail, definitely. So, just wanted to test that for you all. So, if you guys are looking for a wig that um, you want to put in up to, go for this. It's really, really worth it.